good, bloody good. Hey guys, it's your girl Zara Fam here with another reaction video. Lil Tet is back. Is this the biggest comeback in this generation? Apart from Adele coming back after like years of hiatus, Lil Tay has dealt with so much drama and trauma. So if you have not seen the live Instagram that she did, the link of that video will be in the description box below so you can watch the full video. Started her live with like her playing instruments and then she kind of delved into why she's been gone. She cleared up a lot of stuff. She really spoke very eloquently, very grown. She's had to face a lot, let's just say that. I really empathise with her, the amount of trauma that she's been through is full for her. So please go watch that video to gain some clarity of where Lil Tay is now at. Um, but anyway, she also dropped a music video which is sick. She's coming back with a whole bang. Let's get straight into the reaction of Lil Tay's music video. I'm very excited because I, on the live she was singing and she's, she's talented. She's a talented girl. This is a fresh new start for her basically. Ooh. It's funky. I like the beat, the instrumental. She's so grown. But she's still ill, okay? Oh. I walked in the party, no friends on my arm. You got my attention, okay. like a fire alarm. I don't want to lose ya. I don't want to lose ya. I'm just looking through ya. Okay, okay my girl, okay. First impressions here. I think having seen the live that she posted as well, she's so grown in the sense that she's very mature, but in the sense that she had no choice but to mature. I, I don't know, I'm gonna make a lot of comparisons to that Instagram live, so please go watch it as well. But anyway, so far, clear visuals, loving the cinematography, the balcony, we have her with the car. I mean, she was posing with the cars before and stuff, which is nice to see, kind of like bringing it in with with her own style to where she is at the moment. I love the pink on her. It's very flattering, very flattering. You see my Medusa. Money, money, money. Ooh. Money, money, money. I just can't look away from it. I want it, want it, want it. When you try to leave, I got you paralyzed. Fall for it every time. You got me screaming. At the top of my lungs, I must be dreaming. I really, really, really love the orange outfit. It is popping on her. It is absolutely pop. It's so beautiful, please. I wish I could pull that off. Maybe I can, I don't know. Maybe I don't, I'll have to see. But that orange on her is really pretty. Like, so pretty. I love how this is about money as well because I think it really ties in with all the shenanigans and controversy that she's been involved with. The whole, oh, I can't get enough of it, money, 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 and I don't know if this is a bit of an indirect as well. There's a lot to it. Apparently, you know, her Chris, I'm going to say Chris, her biological dad, um, owes her a lot of kind of child support money while her mum. But now, you know, it looks like she's thriving in her success. she got all these cars around her, she's dancing, she got the moolahs around her. I like the spin. I like how the camera like kind of panned like this. The, uh, sorry, you know I'm a sucker for visuals, cinematography and that. Everything, the way they've like kind of put her in the middle um, because she's like, even though she's got all this luxurious stuff around her, the money, this and that, she's kind of the main thing. I mean, it's her music video of course is meant to be like that, but like she is giving off luxury herself because she's like valuable herself. I'm reading way too into this, but you know. This song is kind of like, that fantasy that everyone kind of, kind of wants to have, like, yeah, I'm gonna be successful. I want our money. I want to be thriving, and this is this is it. This what this that's the vibe I'm getting. <laughs> I 
really like this. It's really catchy. It's really, really catchy. And I love how I've done this. This is like, you know, these meant to be businessmen behind her. I don't know if this is a... I don't know if this is an ad or anything. I don't know, but I clearly like... Is it, are these meant to be finance bros? Because... I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> it's a really catchy song. And I like that she can dance and she's dancing in it. Sometimes you've got music videos that are kind of talking about this kind of concept like money, success and all of this. But, and it's mostly men that kind of sing about that kind of stuff in that way. But, you know, she's making it fun, dancing with it. It's just, yeah, I like it. I like it. Look in your eyes, let you look me. I'm a sucker for green. So to Ooh, she's so classy. I love how, you know, some of the dances she's doing is kind of very like tiktok -y as well. It's very like to her generation. But she's making it look really good. So I don't know how, but like... Do you know what I mean? When I, see, when I scroll through tiktok and I see people doing these dances, I'm like, oh, okay. But it really suits the vibes of her song and the beat of her song. Yeah. What would I do without ya? We got a little thing. And I'm just loving that. Ooh, cute outfit! What would I do without ya? I love it. She's like, all I want is your dollar size. Come spend it on me. This is gonna be the anthem. Like, you know how men are always like, oh, you only want my money. I'm like, what money? Where's the money? But anyway, yeah, give us your money. All I want is your dollar sign now. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the men just dancing. else to say about this it's really catchy the visuals i just i love it she got the um i'm presuming there's a mclaren cars in the background i don't know much about cars so please correct me if i'm wrong but those cars are like really nice in it <laughs> and i love how the you know the cars are making her pop out because she's got the orange vibing she's vibing living a life as she should she made for too much she went through too much. She needs to be living, and this is the the way to be going about. So well done to you, little Tay. I know they were in the beginning as well, but then you just, oh, she, good, good, bloody good. I love that for her. Okay, so overall, I really love this uh, music video from Lil Tay, even just the music in general, because she's, this was very catchy. I think she came back with a bang. If you haven't properly listened to it about my reaction, go stream it, because I, I, it's really catchy. So I didn't know she was like musically talented like this, because like I said, I saw her Instagram live story. She was playing the piano, she was playing guitar, she was playing another guitar, like it was crazy. And her voice, her voice is really smooth. And this music video obviously has been edited and stuff, but even like her without like live on the Instagram live, it was very smooth. Um, in terms of this video, so she got the guys behind her, hyping her on. Very fun kind of video, just her living her life. Love how clean the visuals were, love how they put her at the centre of it all. Like even when there wasn't much in the picture, like say the balcony, she was still the centre because she really popped out there as well. So visuals, they did a really good job in that. I really like how they made her pop. Um, make him the centerpiece which is as you should because you're the artist i really loved Lil Tay's outfits they really dressed her beautifully her makeup is stunning she is just glowing 
she's glowing in this video and she seems so happy and she's just having fun and thriving and just all about success all about success and i'm really happy for her moving on to the comments of the music video which is something i don't usually talk about on my reaction videos but it's really gross it's really really gross she's 16 15 16 i don't know she's still a minor she's under 18 even 18 if they, with these kind of comments that's wild you're actually tapped you're tapped behavior anyway aside from those comments i really hope she gets some more like nicer comments than this and it's just really embarrassing for the people that are commenting this and the people that are liking those comments like you're really outing yourself i'm just so happy that little tay is like getting back out there starting afresh going in her the direction that she wants to with more control over her life i think this is a great start for her it's a catchy song so in line with all her controversy which i don't really want to touch on too much because we never know the full story of things right but from what lil tay did come out with her instagram live she really exposed her dad for like his abuse towards her it could be kind of like a fudge you to him which is great I, I i applaud her if that's the case you go girl because if i could i would yeah i mean she came out with a bang but her backstory is very very sad and i really do hope you guys go watch the video to understand Clara about Lil Tay's situation and she seems a lot more happier. She was very happy in this video. Again, we don't know the full story, still don't know if things are going on, but it seems that she's been freed of a big part of what was trapping her in these five years that she's disappeared. She's back. It's a bop. She came out with a bop. If you don't agree, then you don't agree, but I feel like this is a bop. Um, I would love to know what you guys think of the song Comment down what your favourite part is And comment down what direction you think Lil Tay's music is going to go in, go to Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching Hope you enjoyed my reaction and my little analysis This one was a bit different because I don't want to comment too much Because you know there's so much about Lil Tay that we don't know And I just kind of said it from my perspective I just really wanted to check out her video because I did not know she that she was a singer bro I didn't know that it's sick that she's come out and she's dropped this and like boom she's back but in all honesty I really praise Lil Tay for coming out of this for being brave enough to speak about speak up about her truth and dropping a music video too it goes hand in hand she's getting herself back out there so well done to her obviously guys if you want me to react to anything just comment down in the comment section below and yeah you can find me on all my socials tiktok instagram i still have yeah they're on the screen so y'all can follow me there and keep up to date with me there as well i shall see y'all next time thank you bye also for all the incapable incel excuses of a father out there like fudge you just fudge you just, ugh, it, it. i really hope whoever's dealing with incel type fathers can thrive in success and throw it in their faces i'ma keep it at that